All right, now we're going to take a look at another basic closed guard pass, the Guitar Hero. This is something that I've had a lot of success with both in the kimono and out of the kimono. And if you do it correctly, you can have a lot of success too. All right, Marty caught me in his closed guard and it's time to pass. We're going to go with that standard grip, finger in the middle, palm to the solar plexus, and I'm going to get that good gangster lean. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to stand up. If you remember the two-on-one pass, we stood with the left foot first so that he couldn't grab it because we were controlling the hand. But for this pass, I'm going to step with my right foot, and there's, there's a zone in here that we want to step. If you step too close, you're going to get in trouble. If you step too far away, you're going to get in trouble. There's like that little Goldilocks middle ground that we need. And the only way that you can really find it is by repping it out because your legs are a different distance than mine. All I can tell you is that when you turn that knee in and you drive it into his stomach, it should put a lot of pressure on the hips. So again, I'm here. I start to put a little bit of pressure on his chest and I'm going to hit the hip slam. Boom. Now when I go to step, you notice I'm not all the way in and I'm not too far out. I know because I've done this pass a lot that I'm at about 90 degrees with my foot and I do about six, seven inches between his hip and my heel, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, instead of taking the pressure off of him, I'm gonna make sure to keep his hip bent and his chest with pressure. The way that Marty will defend this is by straightening out his hip, so it's important that I keep good pressure down with my hand, all right? From here, I'm gonna start to stand, but notice, you'll see it from another angle in a second, I'm gonna stagger my legs. I don't want him to be able to grab both ankles. When I start to stand, I'm going to start to put pressure in. This act right here should break the legs. Now, I've got good domination of this leg. I've got good control. I have to clear that. I don't want to see you turn away. I don't want to see you turn in. If I turn in, I take that pressure off of his hip and his knee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the guitar hero. I'm going to pretend that I'm on stage, I'm really famous, and I'm going to drive forward with my pelvis at the same time as I strum my guitar. I let go of the hip. Boom, I drive my pelvis forward, and then I'm going to ride that leg down into side control. All right, I'm in close guard. I get that standard grip, finger in the middle, palm to the solar plexus. Hand on the hip, I get that good gangster lean. From here, I'm going to hit that hip slam, I'm going to step. So hip slam, step, keeping good pressure down. I'm not lifting up yet. I need to make sure to keep his hip broken down. Now I'm going to rotate this knee right onto his hip. Boom. Now, you see his legs broken open, I've got it bound in between my body. From here, I'm going to guitar hero, arm up, pelvis forward. From here, I ride the hips down into a good side control position. In close guard, standard grip, hand to the hip, good gangster lean, keeping pressure down. I hip slam, step, and I start to turn. Watch this, guys. Here, my arm comes up, my pelvis goes down. What I don't want to see is this. I don't want to see you turning away. You should keep that pressure with the pelvis the whole time. Boom! It should pop off all the way down. Side control.